We know how to find the perimeter of a shape by counting the units or adding up the side lengths. Today, we're going to find the perimeter of shape when not all the side lengths are given. Remember that perimeter, the word rim, means that it's around the outside, kind of like a basketball rim. So we're trying to find the distance around a shape. When not all the side lengths are given, you need to think about what you know about shapes. Let's look at this, this rectangle. I know that this side is 3 inches, and then it tells me that this side is 5 inches. But it doesn't give me all the sides. You need to know a couple things about shapes. You need to know the properties of shapes. I know about rectangles that it has two sets of parallel sides and the opposite sides are equal lengths. So that means if this side right here is three inches, then the opposite side is parallel, but it's also equal. So it would be three inches. And I know that this side is 5 inches, so the opposite side, since it's a rectangle, is equal and parallel. So it would also be 5 inches. Then I would just have to add up the sides. 5 and 5 is 10, plus 3 and 3 is 6, so perimeter would equal 16 inches, because we measured in inches. One mistake that third graders tend to make is they see one side labeled and the other side labeled and they think that's all they need. So they add it up and they say that the perimeter equals 8 inches. But that's not true because we have to equal or add each side, not just two of the sides. Let's look at this square. If I wanted to find the perimeter of the square, I would have to think for a second because they only gave me one side. One side equals two centimeters. Then I need to think about what do I know about a square? I know that a square has all equal sides. So that means if this side is two centimeters, then every side would be two centimeters. Then I can find the perimeter by adding up all the sides. I'd say two, four, six, eight. Perimeter would equal 8 centimeters. Let's look at this triangle. I know that it is an equilateral triangle and that one side is 3 inches long. Well, since it's an equilateral triangle, it's in the name. All three sides are equal. So if this side equals 3 inches, this side's going to equal 3 inches, and also this one. So then all I have to do is add up the sides to find the perimeter. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 would be 9 inches. Perimeter equals 9 inches. If I know enough about shapes, I don't even have to see the shape to find the perimeter. If I have a rectangle and it's 5 meters long and 9 meters wide, I can solve the problem. I could even draw the rectangle before I solve the problem to help me out. So it is 5 meters long, so I would write 5 meters, and it is 9 meters wide, so I would write 9 meters. Now I need to solve and find the perimeter. If I were just to add 9 and 5, the answer would be 14, but that would not be the perimeter because I only added up two sides. I need to add up all the sides. I know that the opposite sides in a rectangle are equal, so that means this side would be 5 meters because that's equal to its opposite side. And then I also know that this side would be 9 meters because it's parallel and equal to the opposite side. So then I just have to add 9 and 9 are 18, 5 and 5 are 10. If I add it together, the perimeter would be 28 meters. So perimeter would equal 28 meters. As you solve perimeter problems, Please keep in mind what you know about shapes. And please keep in mind that adding two sides is not how you find the perimeter. You need to remember the rules about rectangles and triangles and squares. That way you can solve the perimeter correctly.